Hey everyone, I am back with another video about NX measure. And the um, reason why I'm doing this is the measure video I made years ago is probably one of the most popular videos that I've made and people have a lot of questions. So I'm gonna make, again, a series of videos. And I can't do it all in one, it's just too much. So um, I'll get started with some of the basics again and show you what some of the options are all about. Now, when I initially made the video, the tool, new measure tool was just introduced. And uh, like all good things, they continue to improve. They've added a few things here and uh, updated a few things there and um, figure it's time to talk about it. Now, I'm gonna use uh, this little car to demonstrate some of those measurement options. So I'm going to come over here and click into measure. Now, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is let's say I want to measure the distance between this outside and this inside to get an idea of ingress egress type of thing right a person that's going to climb over and get in I want to know what the distance is just to maybe the belt line whatever that is now when i do that <clears throat> i get this crazy measurement okay what why am i getting this crazy measurement so first come over to the top i'm measuring between a couple of objects there's object one object two measurement method is just a simple free measurement and then what I am measuring is the distance. I'm not measuring anything else. Okay, so this is menu allows you to measure several things. And I'm just measuring the raw distance between the two. But I get this very odd looking measurement. Now, in the window, the menu here, you'll note it's saying measure the maximum distance. So the maximum distance between this surface and this surface is this very long diagonal. So it's telling me <coughs> that between those two surfaces, this is the furthest outreaches. And that's not what I want. So I'm gonna change this to minimum distance. Now, the minimum distance is 390. This is something that I would expect. Okay, so now I know what that is. Now, I'm gonna go into vector, and I'm gonna pick this vector, this z-axis vector here. Uh, bring this over here so you can see what I'm picking. Now notice I get a very different measurement. Once I select the vector, you'll see I have a, quite a few of different types of measurements that I can pick from. So the first one is minimum projected clearance. So what this is basically doing is along that vector, so it's measuring along that vector, it's finding the minimum distance along that vector projected, okay? And that's what that is. You'll see it's a little different. Before it was like 390 something, now it's 385. And if I remove that vector, let's just do this, true up the view, remove that vector. See, there's my 390. Now, it, you'll see that it's at a slight little angle. But the moment I add that vector back in, what it's doing is it's finding the extent of this surface in this direction for the minimum distance in the surface in this direction, etc. Now, if I change this to maximum distance, it goes back up to this point, <clears throat> and you'll see it goes to uh, this point over here, but it's no longer just a diagonal, it's measuring along that vector. We have minimum projected contact. Okay, so this is uh, looking at uh, contact between the two. Whereas the one was a projected, you saw what was going on with the, uh, let's go projected. You'll see how it's measuring to this point because it's basically projecting along based off of that vector projecting the, the two nearest points along that vector direction. But if I say contact points, those 
contact points. <clears throat> Basically, what are the two points in this direction that would touch? Okay, so it's those two points. Those are the two nearest points in that direction. And that's 395. If I go to maximum projected, where would that touch? 403. So the biggest gap between this surface and this surface is right in here. I have minimum projected orthogonal. Okay, so again, it's using a projection, but this is an orthogonal projection. Orthographic meaning uh, top right front, that type of thing. 389. Okay, and then maximum projected orthogonal. You'll see it goes back up to this point. So you have to be very specific with what you want to measure. And some people have come back and said, well, I just want to measure the minimum distance between these two things. I don't care about projected. Well, again, just simply remove the vector, and it gives you that minimum distance between the two. But that's oftentimes not what people are looking for. Again, you'll see that it is at an angle. Okay. So oftentimes you may need to measure along a direction to get that true distance, okay? Now, in the olden days, I would look at my information window and in there I would have directions in the x, y, z. So some of these projected minimum, maximum, etc., are those deltas, x, y, z, delta lengths, okay? So it'd be the true length in an x direction, or true length in the y, or true distance, or what I should say distance, not length, true distance in the x, y, or z, or true distance in that vector direction is what that is. Now they wrapped it all up into one. I just pick a vector, and that's my true distance, okay? So, um, Again, it's pretty easy. I just want to remove that vector. There's my minimum distance. But I can always add that vector in, pick a different vector, etc., etc. Okay, so that is the most basic measurement between two objects. And then you add that vector to get additional measurements. So I know I've had a lot of people ask questions about that because they're so used to going to um, an information window. You know, you go look in the information window and you see, oh, okay, this is my 3D distance, it's this, it sends it in there. Now, if I go and do my measurement again, whoops, <laughs> I picked the vector for all three, my bad. Hold on here, let me see something, nope. Okay, we're going to measure. Got to switch it to object, got to be very specific. Go back to vector. This will be my vector. Now if I pick the other vector direction, it just measures in the opposite direction, right? does the same basic thing. <clears throat> all right. So it's all of the measurement tools are there. Now, again, if I were to select OK, I can create an associative measurement, etc. If I were to select OK, it gives me that distance. OK. So that's what I'm talking about in regards to uh, measuring along a distance or, or a vector. Again, in the olden days, it was um, you'd go to the the window there, information window, and have your X, Y, Z directions and deltas. Now it's all just wrapped up into the one window. Okay, it's kind of nice. You don't have to go and think about what vector and all the other stuff. It's right there for you.